I've recently started offering solo therapy in my office, which is a photobiomodulation tool um, that sends near infrared light into the pelvic floor muscles to ultimately get a lot of blood flow and help the muscles relax. So photobiomodulation is um, a big umbrella term that encompasses things like red light therapy, cold laser therapy, um, if those are things you're familiar with. Ultimately, it's basically light that's being emitted, in this case from a laser, that um, is in an orb shape. So the, I'm not gonna take it all the way out of the package, but this is what the um, head of it kind of looks like. So you can see maybe that this is circular um, and it goes basically in and out of the vaginal canal. So the benefit of that is because this is actually clear on all sides, um, it's a cylinder with then an orb up here, is that it can get that those near, those um, wavelengths of light into tissue, both at the front of your pelvis, the back of your pelvis, and the top or deepest part of your pelvis. So what happens is that we plug in some stuff, it asks you a bunch of questions about your symptoms, um, and by it, I mean this machine back here. And then we take the uh, cover and we cover the actual laser piece, okay? And then um, it takes some measurements, basically, of how deep um, the light needs to penetrate to be effective, and then it doses it from there. And, and it, the machine does all of that stuff based on the numbers that I and the information I give it. Then this goes in and out of your vaginal opening, not all the way out, but to the very opening, um, and then back to your cervix or the deepest part of your vaginal cuff. Um, and it does that for less than seven minutes. Um, how long, again, depends on the dosing and all the things that we've already talked about. So the benefit of it is that the light makes it so that the activity of the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell, increases, which increases ATP production. And as an effect of ATP production, you get a byproduct or and a waste product, which is nitrous oxide. As it turns out, nitrous oxide is excellent for um, getting muscles, both uh, like skeletal muscle, if we think of our biceps, as well as striatal muscle, if we think about like the muscle in our bladder, for example, to relax. So it's one of the only things in physical therapy specifically with no medication, um, no injections, no, uh, no like topical lidocaine, any of that, that I can guarantee will result in some pelvic floor muscle release, relaxation, um, and which is why I ultimately got it in the first place. So the other thing about it is that it has virtually no side effects. What happens, what could happen is that there could be some soreness after the fact, um, like within the first 24 to 48 hours, kind of like when you get a massage um, and the soreness that comes after your muscles relax. It could also be painful or uncomfortable in the process. Um, it isn't for most people, but I have had a couple of folks who say that the actual, like just having something, especially if they have um, really irritable pelvic pain, really sensitive pelvises, um, if they have a lot of friable tissue, for example, um, if someone has been in menopause for a long time, um, it can be uncomfortable with the probe going in and out, um, but that does get better over time uh, and has the effect of ultimately bringing tons and tons of blood flow, which then helps those tissues and makes everything less uncomfortable.